Friends, uh, we are coming to an end to the podcast, Shape Shifters, the untold story of manufacturing, which we are telecasting from Die and Mold India 2024, organized by Tagma India. Our guest is Vinod Mullasheril, a very passionate mechanical engineer from NTTF, loud computer and gone into digital manufacturing and uh, he was in Germany heading a multinational, the global uh, digital transformation, many different projects and finally he founded India and now his mission is to transform the Indian manufacturers, bring them a lot of productivity. Definitely it is not going to be easy and his focus is to see that the tool makers, the first thing is the tool makers in India come to a global level and give that same kind of productivity. We heard that one of the biggest challenge in India is that, you know, we don't give the productivity. Even China per person productivity, they are able to give 8x more than yeah, India. Absolutely, yeah. So that is something even uh, we also discussed when we were there in Germany. We know this based out of Germany. So uh, why tool makers uh, you believe should adopt uh, digital manufacturing technologies? Okay. So why I'm thinking that toolmakers must adopt digital manufacturing is simply because, you know, still the, from a technology perspective, we are still in the tribal. We believe the Jubilee is going to work for everywhere. But unfortunately, that's not the case. Worldwide, if you see the, the, the technology, how fast it is growing, and the adaptation of the technology by the toolmakers community is tremendous. But unfortunately, in India, we don't have that kind of an adaptation happening for the toolmakers. So, because of this, the control on cost is not going to happen. The control on productivity is not going to happen. And uh, the other day, I was talking to one of the you know, active tool making community members. So he was saying, if you're willing to buy tool, tool rooms, 90% of the tool makers will sell it and go. That's the kind of message what I'm getting, which is hurting because tool making is the mother of production, let's say. Without this tool making, molds and you know, dyes, casting, nothing will happen for sure. So until and unless we save, we protect, we elevate the tool makers uh, industry, tool making industry, our Indian manufacturing, whatever we are pro projecting for the 2030 is still going to be a dream. But uh, our tool room is running without any digital manufacturing. Yes. So why I should, uh, you know, look at uh, digital any other digital manufacturing? Dandha chal rahe na, kaam chal rahe. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that's, uh, you know, in 2021, I think, the government of India, they were doing a, an um, analysis, you know, pre-budget analysis of the financial situation, business situation in India. They call it as a dwarfism, which is like, you know, companies are satisfied when they reach to a certain level and they, they are happy sustaining there. But the thing is that there is a bigger opportunity to capture. So without a process, without a system, it's like our ancient knowledge, you know. We, we lost all the ancient knowledge, why? Because we didn't have a process to do that, to preserve that. So, so something similar to that, unless we start having a proper recognized process, things will not come up. What? So you can be either satisfied mm. or you can grow multiple times. So that's your choice and that's what I'm, I tell everyone. See, again, growth is a concept. Because there should be uh, solutions uh, which we are highly challenged. And that is where people are able to see value because there are a lot of challenges. We are not able to see a vision, you know. I was talking to, in my one of the earliest episodes, I was talking to Manoj Sundaram of uh, Zayas. Uh -huh. And he was telling that there were people during the 1990, end of 1999, say, or 2000 beginning, some of the people, when CMM was not required, they took CMM. Right. And those companies who thought that time, you know, ah. they are today, these companies are in a different. Exactly. But everyone is not able to see that. But until and unless each and every person is able to come up to that level, India cannot grow. That's what I believe. I, I totally agree with your statement because technology is something which is to be upgraded every day, every week. And unless we do that, the corporate companies who are looking for more and more out, out of India, not going to be satisfied for sure. You know, one more problem I believe you will be uh, facing when you are coming and uh, trying to reach out is that. See, when we talk about ERP, I believe ERP is a very manipulated word 
in this country. Agree. Digital manufacturing again is a very manipulated uh, word in this country. Agree. So maybe certain people have uh, very bad experiences, and they will be lose lost that uh, trust, confidence, yeah. confidence and trust, trust that this technology can make a difference. So how you are going to handling that? You may see as an another person promising something. Correct. Correct. Yeah, I I totally get it. But on the other hand, when I talk to a couple of companies, uh, one of uh, I mean, couple of companies who are really you uh, know represent the tooling community of South India. What I hear the hear from them is that even though they failed to do two three times, they still want to have a solution which is adaptable for their their kind of activities, and they are still looking for it. So that that's a hope what I have. So. Today, Indians, you know, they study in premium institutions, mm -hmm. and uh, the first thing what they will do is try to find out a job outside India. And do. Right. There are certain certain good advantages because there are now many Indians are in different maybe uh, heading multinational, including Google or anything like that. Those were talents have gone from India, but you on the other hand, gone and very comfortably you want to leave everything and you come back to India. Sure. Why? Passion. I I work on this project since 2000. 17, and uh, today one of my clients, when they are putting on their wall that it's, uh, what is that, enquiry to delivery powered by India, I was dreaming this statement six, seven years ago. So today I'm seeing that. And this is the first company probably, and I'm confident that there will be hundreds of such companies coming up in the next year. You know, the, is this a revolution you are trying to bring here? I want to do that. I want to do that. <laughs> See, what I'm trying to tell is we all need to grow. I always believe in collaboration and complementing. Yes. That is how uh, we want to grow. And I I'm strongly believe in India. Mm -hmm. I strongly believe in Indians. But the biggest trouble what we are facing is the culture. And uh, the, on on it is not me, right? In me, there are genes which happened Absolutely. before three, four or generations. generations. So we have gone through a lot of troubles and challenges. So it is not going to be easy. I only tell you that keep the confidence what you are coming, our support will be always there with you yes. and I wish you all the very best for taking India to the global level. I yeah, just wanted to add one more thing here, uh, you just said the collaboration. So if you really look at the European companies, how they are transforming, the aut automobile companies like BMW, Volkswagen, uh, you know, Benz, and Mercedes-Benz, all these companies are coming together. Now they, are, they, they call it us from ego to ecosystem, that's the terminology they use. They create platforms for SMBs, small and mis medium businesses, so that you know the disruptions can be minimized. So the world is moving to collab, you know, getting into that collaborative nature, even though companies are competing. So that's what we want in India. Let's collaborate. That's the best thing we could do. Thank you very much for your time, and I wish you and India all the very best. Thank you, Harry. Thank you, Machine Makers team.